Now let's see what happens when we construct the circumcircle of a right triangle. So right angle here, I'm going to bisect two sides, find the perpendicular bisector of two sides and get the intersection point and watch what happens. Okay, so let's make a an arc here. Okay, and then without changing the radius, okay, let me do this side again. Okay, all right, good. Those two intersection points give me the perpendicular bisector of that side. Let's draw that in. And now I'm going to bisect this side. You could do any two sides, but I'll do those. Okay. I'm going to stretch this one out here. Okay, and then turn it around. right there and we get an intersection here and here okay so those two points give me a perpendicular bisector for this side so let's draw that in look at that it's right there on the hypotenuse and in fact the center of the circumcircle for a right triangle is exactly at the midpoint of the hypotenuse. So if we stick the, the center of the compass here, we should be able to make a circle that goes through, through all three of those. Let's just bring this on around. Let's see, there we go, nice, nice. Okay, how about that? And we could have bisected the hypotenuse as well, and the perpendicular bisector would have been right there, right through that point. But for a right triangle, the circumcenter is exactly at the midpoint of the hypotenuse.